All right, guys, here we go. Taking a quick look at the stock market. Uh, we had Jay Powell out doing his little thing, and we were all over uh, the place today. This is our current uh, daily candle. Of course, obviously, we're closed. We put it on the hourly. Look at these big wicks. I mean, that was people just going psycho in the, in the market. Uh, great uh, day for, you know, the bulls and the bears, both long and short, obviously. But what we want to know, you know, Where's the probability for the next move? You know, uh, where we are now, where are we going to go? And the, what we're looking at is, let me do this first. First of all, let me take that off, get organized here. Uh, let's put the 50 up real quick, 50 day moving average. And our, the two most important on your charts, the 20 and the 200, but that's for another video. But anyway, here we are looking at the 50. It's been holding, as you can see, uh through the end of well january 26 on it is held so that's very positive uh very bullish actually we don't want to lose that and then uh a little bit of a notice here to, you know something to take notice of the 20 is now over uh the 100 which is also uh you know bullish uh, near term and then what we want to look at uh you know we're in this little uh consolidation zone obviously above the uh, 50 there, as you can see, we've been bounced around in there. And then you always look left to see where the next, uh, you know, resistance zone or if you're coming down where the next uh, support zone may be. And right now, uh, the most important areas on your chart are these high or low pivots, you know, high pivot resistance, low pivot uh, support if you're coming uh, down. And then the the more factors you have in one lo location, the higher the odds, higher probability that that resistance will hold or be defeated, or that support will hold or be defeated. Okay, so let me you know pop this up. We have another high pivot over here now. Uh, what I'm kind of that's a bad line, but you get the point. Um, what I'm concerned about is that this was a little further apart. In other words, the further apart they are. On average, the tougher the resistance getting up and over that. Okay, so but near term, uh, you know, we're more bullish than bearish. Uh, we're through with uh, Jay Powell's little speak, and uh, what we're concerned about actually is this DXY over here, and I'll get into that in a second and and show you exactly why. Uh, maybe we can get a little uptrend going here. Then, as you can see, we are in a ascending uh, triangle here and we get over it then we have a measured move here that we put on top and that's where you know uh, price will be heading so yeah we could go a lot higher quicker than people think uh, near term uh, on the on the Dow Jones and then the S&P 500 uh, same scenario at a slight pullback now why these pullbacks are slight why that's very important is that as you move up, the more shallow uh, the pullback, the better, okay? Because that helps price, uh, you know, has a be better probability of pushing over that previous high pivot level, okay? Then, of course, you got to look left, and then we see we have that little uh, resistance line here, uh, you know, where we have this high pivot, then the next one, of course, up there. But near term, uh, you know, like I was saying, this is very important for anything. It doesn't matter if it's Apple, Bitcoin, Litecoin, you know, gold, silver. As You know, when you have that pullback and you come up, uh, the more shallow, the better. Okay, if you start coming down uh, deeper into that uh, move, the lower the odds, the lower probability you're going to be able to get back up there in a short period of time it's going to take a longer period of time more you know uh, bullish buying bull buy volume coming in to help you do so and then you know for support you know uh, in case we do need another pullback here you can see right through there see how we you know pretty much hit it uh right perfectly there now let's look at the dxy this is really the heart and the soul of everything and the reason why i say that is here all day long this is hourly uh well matter of fact let's put it on the four minute i mean this thing was up you know down everywhere 
uh, on the chart. And that's why you're getting whipsawed in and out on gold, silver, uh, so on and so forth uh, in stocks throughout the day. Uh, because if the Fed comes in, well, let me show you this little trick. Got the 50 here coming down, ran into it the other day, yesterday. Today we couldn't, we were over it, but we couldn't close over it. And that's significant. And then if you look left again, see all this uh, high pivot, low pivot area right through here. And then uh, we melted under it, uh, couldn't get over, couldn't get over. And then we just, you know, cascaded down, waterfall down. And now we're trying again. And this, this is very, very important. Okay, remember me talking about the shallow pullback? If the dollar pulls back just a little bit on the next couple of days or whatever, uh, we could end this uh, consolidation zone over here. And we teach all this in our micro future, introduction to micro futures trading course. There's a ton more little tricks and stuff. But anyway, if we pull back over the next couple of days, so yeah, whatever, uh, hit this and then bounce, yeah, that's a shallow pullback. Uh, that could rip the face off the, the bulls near term uh, as far as gold, silver, uh, the stocks, etc. Okay, so you want a little bit uh, more than a, a shallow pullback in the DXY, the dollar. You really, we really, just between us, we, you want it under this 20. You want to get, get that price back under the 20. And then we'll be coming back and kind of double bottom uh, down here at that recent low uh, from last uh, uh, week, okay, 1st of February. And then that would really put, uh, you know, a push to the upside on metals, uh, help them reverse quicker, faster, as well as, as your stocks, okay? And, and of course, crypto. So uh, near term, as we're looking for, if it just consolidates, across the top of this uh, level here, you know, kind of where we are now, if it just uh, consolidates through here and then moves up, yeah, that'll, uh, we'll probably double down all of our short positions. But as it comes down, uh, we'll be slowly scaling out of those short positions and then looking for, uh, you know, a long position, uh, you know, if we get back under that 20. But okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, check us out or give us a follow on Twitter and check out our introduction to micro futures uh, trading below so you can know how to do this on your own. And we will see you on the chart.